Hello, uh, so here we are going to see our uh, back scanner. So this is our NPSC5030 model. Uh, this is applied for type approval and AERB. So here you can see there are different stickers or indicator, safety indicators. Uh, uh, danger, radiation, flame safety, then different uh, buttons like power indicator, emergency stop button, alarm indicator and x-ray indicator. Here you can see uh, our X-ray back scanner sticker, Hikvision brand. The model number is NPSC5030. That is as mentioned. Then uh, this is a caution X-ray uh, sticker, safety sticker. Then other important safety sticker which is mandatory. And this is our input side, input of the back scanner. Where uh, back can go inside and we can scan the radiation. If we go over here, we can see the number plate. Uh, the number plate is here. So the, you can see it very clearly the model number is NPSC5030, the serial number is 21002103049 and date of production is uh, 4th of the month and 2021 is the year that is April 2021 and remaining uh, power consumption and weight and other informations are as mentioned uh, on the number plate. Okay, so you can just uh, check over uh, over here as well. There are uh, safety stickers once again uh, given on the output side as well. Well, uh, where baggage will come out after scanning, safety stickers again, and all the indicators once again: power indicator, emergency stop, alarm, and X-ray. So this is the walk around of uh, our machine. Okay, and uh, here you can if you come on the, this side. Uh, we can turn on the machine using key and uh, start button. So once we need to start the machine, then press the button. Okay. So and we turn on the monitor. So uh, system will boot up uh, immediately. So to use the machine, we need to enter uh, login and password. So the machine will boot up, it is initializing and it will boot up. So this is just for the uh, calibration, okay. So now it is uh, just uh, training once again. So here you can see uh, it will get completed so we can use it. This was the just uh, normal software checks before we use the machine and we get the correct results. Okay. Okay, so it is about to get finished. Okay, just initializing right now. Successful. Initial success. So this is our scanning screen. Now here you can see that we cannot remove the key. Once machine is on, we cannot remove it. We we cannot remove the keys. Okay, so it is locked. Uh, once we turn off, then only we can remove the key. It is locked. So now uh, uh, to start with, uh, we will scan a product. Uh, uh, we will take a product. And uh, we will keep on conveyor belt initially. If we turn it on, uh, you can see the radiation is turning on, and uh, the uh, the scanned image is shown on the screen. You can zoom it as per your requirement. You can just view what is there in the product or in the baggage. Okay. So once again, uh, to demonstrate the same, when when the products goes inside the baggage scanner and radiation turns on there, there will be a small uh, red indicator which indicates that the x-ray tube is on let's see once again over here we will just focus on this uh, see now you can see uh, this is scanning indicator so product is out scanning is closed again it is gray so you get a correct indicator whenever there is a radiation or whenever there is a product inside to it and radiation 
is turned on so once radiation is off again that indicator will go gray color so this is what a basic scanning will show up over here now if i want to uh, stop the machine in between the scanning so you can come over here so uh, there is an emergency stop button let's see so i when i'm pressing emergency stop button scanning also stop so if there is some problem a person can take out the baggage when radiation is off now need i need to release the button then only it will turn on okay now i will take it back the baggage or a product like this again the scanning will start it's very easy okay so you can see uh, the scanning image over here so this is the basic operation of the bag scanner and the last thing i want to show a parameters so set so here you can see the source is 80 kilowatt and 600 micro ampere so this is the by default setting and this is the fixed setting which we cannot change so this is 80 kilowatt 600 micro ampere okay was it nahi